Hey, welcome back. I've got a new Disney set, like a Disney 100, 100 anniversary set to build for you today. This is called Ariel's Treasure Chest and it's based around the live action version of The Little Mermaid. We've got a brand new version in my, like min, mini doll, sorry, mini doll version of this because we've already got a micro doll of this Ariel. But this is like a trinket box. So you can put all your trinkets in here, you can hide stuff away. And it's also like a dot style, like theme too. There are 370 pieces. It's $80 here in Australia, which is a lot. $45 in the US and I swear the Australian dollar is not that weak against the US dollar. So where they get our pricing from, I don't know. Got a dot style bracelet as well. <laughs> Just, I don't know. This feels like a bit of a higgledy piggledy set, but I suppose it is a trinket box. So we're building a trinket to put in the box. All right, let's have a look at the mini doll because currently this is the first time that we have seen, or the exclusive time, gosh, I'm having trouble putting sentences together today, that we have seen the live action mermaid as a mini doll, full size mini doll. She's got the same, exactly the same tail as we have seen for the cartoon version, but she's got a brand new printed top and her face print is, look, the less I say about the new Disney princess style weird rectangle eyes, the better. I just don't think it suits them. <laughs> I mean, it looks quite cute. Her hairpiece is not quite right, but it'll do. It, it just, I mean, she has a lot more hair than this, but yeah, I mean, it's an existing hairpiece that Lego's already made, been recolored for this purpose. Now, this, <laughs> this mini doll doesn't only come with a tail, but she comes with <laughs> <laughs> with the faceted diamond ball gown bottom thing which I've looked at before we've seen these before to have to like to have a dress as well as the mermaid tail is really nice the fact that we actually have two bottom parts I still just still like really baffled by the functionality of this diamond dress like it's got I mean she's got a parasol now I mean this perfectly suits the Little Mermaid look entirely but the whole point of this faceted diamond piece apart from it looking like a diamond which is pretty cool is that you can actually shove the other bits of the mini doll in here it goes help I'm trapped in a gemstone and eventually you let her out you know so and then you give her her tail back <laughs> <laughs> because the yeah that ball gown is an interesting choice but it is nice to have two bottom parts so that you can have her as a yeah as a ball gown version or as a mermaid version now you also do have flounder in here and we do have like a generic crab for Sebastian but we're gonna meet them as we go along let's get this trinket box underway and see like see whether it's see, see whether it's interesting I mean Everything with Lego is interesting. For me, I'm not convinced when I bought this that it was going to be worth the price. So often when I'm building something or once I've built it and I feel in my hand and I know the actual building process that's gone on, it does feel as though I have not wasted my money. So I'm hoping that this one is also like that. Once again, this is not a set though that is aimed at my demographic. This is obviously aimed at younger kids, but this is, uh, it's not that simple a build. So if you do buy it for somebody, we, you're going to need, they're, they're gonna probably need some assistance. So we do have a turning component here, like a traditional music box. You turn it with the little key. This is actually not a lockable chest though, which is what I thought it was from the picture on the outside that you'd actually be able to lock it with a key because a lot of these a lot of these ones that come with a little key which is also by the way a tile remover so make sure you remember that don't just don't just leave it as a key use it for all of its functions I've forgotten what I'm saying <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Okay, I'll probably come back to me eventually. Probably won't actually. So this is one side here. This is a little drawer which actually goes in and clips in in the middle and there's a matching one for the other side. So that's a really very nice design. Smoothly, smoothly glides in and out. And you've got those handles on either side to be able to pull them in and out really easily. It's nice, yeah, smooth gliding motion. Okay, so we've got some hidden little drawers happening underneath. We've got a turning component on the top. Let's have a look and see what we actually have in the main chest part of her treasure chest. Because it is a treasure chest, but it also looks like a, it looks like a jewelry box, like a, the old fashioned ballerina turny, turny music boxes. That's adorable. I like that. I love the concept. We're just going to see how well it's been executed, whether it's worth all that money. <laughs> oh my gosh. Disney stuff is just becoming so unreally expensive. 
Okay, got some pretty little flowers on the front. We've got a sextant at the back and a piece of coral seaweed. No seaweed, seaweed over here. So the flowers that are on the front, obviously, a little bit's coral. Here's our Sebastian, the generic version of Sebastian that we have for the live action version. Poor old Sebastian. Just a normal old boring red crab now. These are the pieces we have left at the end of this bag. We're up to bag number four, which is a teeny tiny one, which is what we use to deck out what's on the inside. So here is Flounder, the new version of Flounder. We'll pop him on the turny component at the moment. On the inside, we're building up a little bit of rock work with the teal, with the teal angled pieces, which is nice. Cause you know, normally rock is gray. So it's nice to have colorful rock cause it doesn't look weird either. It just, it looks nice. Got some seaweedy bits and, and this, this section here, you know what? I, hmm, I forgot about this while I was building it. And it was only once I was editing the video, I went, what is this section for? And it's actually, you can plug her tail into that little front stud and sit her down in there or lie the mermaid down in there. And that wasn't in the instructions at all. So I think that could have been clearer as to what that is for, because I forgot about it after I built it. Anyway, we've got some, we've got treasures happening here at the back. We've got candlestick with dingle hopper, got a little statuette, some sparkly jewel things and some spare pieces at the end of that bag. So bag number five is going to be just the lid the big curved treasure chest like treasure chest lid but my favorite part about this was actually once we've got this little framework done is the fact that the curve part is actually what you would normally see in the curve part for aeroplanes for lego aeroplanes so to use this component which is a big bulky curved piece to use this for something different was really exciting it just goes to show how versatile Lego is. You've got to think outside of the uses that they actually give you for them. Hold on, that wasn't... Was that a sentence? I think that was a sentence. So anyway, we've got the lid here. It's all supposed to be held together a little bit more securely with these little rounded two by one plates and trying to tuck them into the corners is quite fiddly. And then we have these stickers which create a really cutesy little cartoony backdrop for the lid. So we'll pop them on. They're very cute. They're very, very... <laughs> yeah, very cartoony, which is which is a weird juxtaposition because this is supposed to be the live action Ariel. So it just feels it feels odd to me. OK, so we plug this in here with our little pin pieces and then that is a nice secure lid with a little ledge on the back for it actually to sit back on. This is the handle, which I love with a little coral seashell that you can actually grab and hold. Doesn't lock though, just reminding you now that it's not a lockable box. That key is for turning little music box idea. And some decoration for the top of the chest because it's not a treasure chest if you don't have some sort of hint on the top of what we're going to find inside. So we've got some really sweet coral pieces and some curvy gold embellishments, so these flourishes which just look really pretty. They also could serve as a handle but maybe would best be best if you don't because <laughs> they're gonna come straight off and there's a little stud right in the middle where you can display your little mermaid mini doll up there if you don't want to have like if it's shut and she can't be displayed if it's shut on the inside so we've got a spot on the top which is really cool so she can be here and you can turn it and she can spin or you can pop her on the very top okay all right so we can put yeah let's put together the let's put together the what do you call these things bracelet now the oh, bracelet wristband I knew it had a word that I had not been able to put together now if you've made any of these out of dots out of from the dot sets before there's nothing groundbreaking about this there are no really particularly interested interested interesting pieces I would have loved to have seen some of the mermaidy printed pieces in here but I think they probably the fact that they even threw this in was was an you know fun little gimmick so yeah, a bit sad we don't have anything a bit special for the wristband, but we got a wristband. Look, see, there we go. Now the question is, can we actually fit this into the treasure chest? Because it's quite bulky. Uh, I suppose it's it's bendy. We can like kind of squish it in. <laughs> and the fact we have this massive gem for her skirt as well, but we can't fit that in anywhere. So it's just going to have to hang out conspicuously outside of the treasure chest and get lost. I like it when you can put everything together in one place. Anyway, it's actually a really a, quite a substantial set. So it feels it's bigger than it feels looks like on the box 
<laughs> but it's not one that I really need to have added to my collection. I'm going to be parting this out so that I can use the pieces for my own custom build. Apart from the mini doll, which is currently exclusive to this set, it's not terribly useful for me. But I do love building life-size Lego things, which is what this is. This is like a life-size jewelry box that you can put on your side table. So yeah. All right. So let me know your thoughts in the comment. Check back in soon because there are more videos coming up all the time. And yeah, I'll be back then when the new things come up. But I'm also on all the old videos too, so make sure you check them out. All right, I'll see you again soon. Bye.